Yo, yo, Ringulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. We're back at it again. Um, we're gonna start back on uh, where we left off there. Um, we just got called back to uh, the star station that we we're staying at um, for another story mission, I guess. Um, we have been uh, dealing with a little bit of uh, piracy problems here where we uh, got got uh, cheated a little bit by the military and they kind of betrayed us and uh, now we're on the run. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they are charging us other than the fact that we are asked, I guess we're just asking the, too many questions about what's going on. Um, so... Ask the wrong questions, and uh, I guess we're paying the price for it. Um, kind of looks like there's a big war going on with uh, an interesting faction. Um, and I guess we're kind of getting to know who the hell this faction is right now. I'm not too sure if we're, I'm sure eventually we'll, uh, our reputation will kind of balance out and, uh, we'll be okay with the, uh, the military and police eventually. But, uh, right now, I guess we're just going to have to deal with, uh, having a shitty reputation. Can't really use a whole lot of the stations, any of the, the jump gates without kind of getting harassed. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so Carrie Ann wants to talk again. I think it's the one at the bar. Alright. What she wants. Or it wants. I don't even know what it is. I think it's like this little creature thing that's attached to her. I have disappointed you, Cardoz. You were promised a meeting with your friend Lorne. We could not arrange one. What's going on? The Union has stepped up patrols on, in Makavari space. The borders are being watched. A ship the size of Lorne's is not something we can simply smuggle in. This was not the plan, not the intention. This is under, undermining. This is really an upsetting for you. Is it really that upsetting for you? Reputation and trust is everything, but we're not giving up, not yet. I promised you we'll get you to Lorne. Plans change, goals remain the same. Okay, so now what? There are rules. Looking for the master. Protocol. Bits of honor we're not meant to break. I promise you that one day you might meet the master. Truth be told, I never intended to keep that promise. After all that spiel you gave me about trust, Trust within a degree, Prince. There are strange times we're living in. So, we're where we are right now. The master has agreed to meet with you in person at his home. There are things that must be said, revelations that must be revealed. We had hoped that Lorne would be the one to handle most of these, but times change. That's my offer, Cardoz. I will take you to the Master, and you will learn exactly what's going on. Just be warned, if you accept our help, there's no going back. You'll be in this until victory or death. Death or victory over what? I'll let the Master explain, for now, if you're ready. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... I have questions. Fine. Try and make them quick. There's not a lot I can answer. Every minute we dwaddle is another minute the Unioneers get closer. Know about me? They're closing in. Do they know about me? The Master would know more, but let's assume so. 
you have run enough jobs here that more than one person may have recognized you. Hmm. Either way, you're in danger. The sooner we get you to the master, the better. Be quick about this. Any other questions? Interesting. How can we be sure the Union won't follow us to the Master? They haven't had the capability. Where we are going is unstable. Jump holes to its collapse and form patterns too random for the Union to track. Not so for the Master. Mundane things like random distribution are child's play for him. Okay. The Union could know where we are, but without knowing how to get there, it's pointless. Still, we're taking precautions for a reason, and sneaking you out here best we can. Be quick about this, any other questions? Why did you never intend me to meet the Master? Few people meet the Master. Lorne and he have old history. Back when he was more trusting, more open. But time and betrayal makes recluses of us all. He doesn't like visitors. Outside is most trusted officials. Still, after this failure, he asks for you personally. Wherever he owes Lorne, it runs deep. Okay. Okay. So, I guess we're gonna... Let's do this, I guess. I don't really got anything else to do, so... At space side, I load up the coordinates when we're both outside. I hope you're ready for this, Cardon Speakerson. Head to Nadric. Um, I'm gonna go to the equipment dealer first. Just make sure that we are all no services needed. I guess we're all jacked up. We got 160. Why did does this pop up? I didn't need to know. Okay, so let's see if I can get maybe... Maybe a couple better guns, or maybe just one better gun. Probably just one better gun. Um, so... There is a class 7. Provocation 3 fires 4 per second. We'll probably just swap out the Firebird for that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to swap out the Firebird. And get the Predification 3. Okay. I kind of think I'm going to sell these. Man, I thought these... Oh, man. Before these were like four hundred and fifty thousand. Now they're only two. Shit. Well, I still think I'm gonna sell these. Can't really buy any good guns. The only ones are those prevagations. I can't equip the class eight on this ship, so we're just gonna sell these. I'm sure we can use them on another upgraded ship, but we'll just we'll just sell them for now. I, I could use the money. Um, we have two class sevens, city launcher that is a class five. So we could technically swap this with a high beam and get another predification. Let's unequip this. Unequip this put this oh, I guess I didn't need to do, I didn't need to do that I didn't need to do that that's fine uh sell cargo and let's buy another one of these it only fires four per second it's not the greatest but it does a decent amount of damage so Use those for now until we find something better. Um, we're going to launch into space and continue on. The Masters of Wormholes.
So clearly the master is some sort of powerful being. Okay. We'll make our way to the particular jump hole, forming up on you, but let's keep it quiet. Okay, sure, we're in space. That kind of... Don't really make much noise. Are you worried? Union fleets gather. It's not a good time to be a pirate. Lead the way, Prince. Okay. Unknown jump hole. I wonder why these pop-ups are popping up again. Weird. Marin Nebula. All right. Semi-stable jump hole. So we have jumped through a couple of jump holes in some of the clouds that are just like I would say probably not tradition. Whoa, what the fuck? Brendan Drake. Projectile inbound. That's let's ship. Hostile. It's hostile. What do I do? Projectile inbound. You. You owe me data. You owe me astronomical data, Cardo Speakerson. Captain Electricon. Projectile inbound. Shit. I'm so Projectile confused. Inbound. Speakerson, that's not being piloted remotely. Get that ship. Uh, strange nodule, I guess. Projectile inbound. Hello, Carrion. Shit. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Projectile inbound. I'm gonna see if I can fire at these things. That's how dear the mitochondria. Projectile still missing, inbound. still missing. Whoa. But no, it's not Projectile this time, not inbound. this time. I'm not letting you escape. The master wants Projectile his star charts. Inbound. Fine, I'll take his secrecy. Projectile inbound. I'm no Stormwraith Star Chaser. I built this ship to counter Projectile the master himself. Inbound. You've got no chance. Projectile inbound. Just still trying to figure out how to actually hit this thing. Projectile inbound. Shield offline. Really frigid Projectile bitch carrying. Inbound. Projectile inbound. Shield online. Okay, so I got that thing. Please shut up. I'm assuming that I'm just supposed to shoot at these nodules. Projectile inbound. But there's guns right here, so it's like I kind of got to keep moving. But they're like super hard to projectile hit. Projectile inbound. Projectile inbound. Yeah, okay, I'm probably gonna turn that voice off. That's kind of annoying. Uh, audio. Naval AI voice. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. It was kind of cool for a bit there, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Well, I got that. Let's try this last one. Just 
try to sit in a pocket. Damn it. Gotta heal. Come on. Come on. Almost got it. Almost got it. Okay, I got that. So now I can take him down. Pretty much out of all my freaking uh, heals now, so I just gotta be uh, pretty careful here. But uh, he's going down pretty quick. Nice. Okay. Shit. I gotta stop taking stupid damage. Shields are back. Yeah, okay, so this ship's going down pretty fast. Here we go. Boom, bitch! They deny me. They deny all of you one. But one day, I'll be holding the master's decrepit tank in my hands. I'll be on top. You hear me? I'll be on... Yeah, yeah. Let's get through the jump hole, Cardoz. The master's waiting. Alright, alright. Shit, dog. Damn. Alright. Another battleship down. What the hell? I went through the center of that. I have to like go slowly. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> All right. All right. Nadre system, Macavari space. I've. Underestimated your talents once again, Speakerson. As star chasers go, you are unmatched. I mean, anarchs and sons would be jealous of you. No big deal. You and Latar had history? You could say that. The master had two hands serving him once upon a time. Okay. I can tell you personally. Let was never good with rejection. Horrible with it, you might say. After you, Speakerson. We're behind schedule. The Master's Docking Ring. Reach the Master's Headquarters. Where are we? Whoa, Andre. Okay. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. What, we're going to the Death Star? What the fuck is this? No, it's a planet. Okay. Oh, here we go. The Master of Wormholes. Her ship just clips through the fucking dock. The Union and Makavari have long forgotten this planet. Unable to reach it once Nadre's wormhole is sealed back the system back up. Half terraformed, perfectly habitable, the master claimed his own. Whatever his name was, 
It is now simply his ball and his alone. We're almost there, Speakerson. You're about to have the privilege of few beings, living or dead otherwise, have ever had. A personal audience with the Master. Treat it with the gravitas you'd treat, say, meeting your brother. The fuck that supposed to mean? Okay, um... In his sanctuary. Where is his sanctuary? Is that the chapter house? Anything in here? No? Nothing? Storm boat, nearby galactic regions, and their current storm levels. You can also pay a premium to the UHC to gain advanced storm data. Doing so will spawn a storm in the region that you can freely chase. Interesting. Rehawk Syndicate Aligned Alliance <laughs> Aligned Alliance of Allied Ally <laughs> Allied Allies. What the fuck? Oh man. Um okay, where am I supposed to go here? Probably probably the Taxi or something or in the in the uh, dock there if I had to guess. I just fall through the floor. Yo. What the fuck? This is the bar? Master's Sanctuary. Your family's like an electromagnet for hopeless causes, you know. You're drawn to them endlessly, and somehow through sheer power you attract others. This was never my war. I wouldn't even have agreed to harbor you. But I have not been entirely honest with you, Cardos Speakerson. My debt to Lorne, and to your ancestor even, is deeper and greater than you could possibly know. Lorne should be the one telling you everything, but he's indisposed. And while I'm no Anak, or friend of the Union, or yourself, I feel wrong letting you head into all this unprepared. So you're going to tell me what's going on? Yes, what is going on, Cardoz? What is all this strangeness leading to? A rookie star chaser finds himself among the greatest of their number, and in the same breath that the consortium directly promotes him, they condemn him and turn him into public enemy number one. An ancient Balden appears, with technology far beyond that of any race, assisted by beings no one has ever seen. And all the while, those old enough to remember him go strangely missing. And General Zet leaves you with cryptic words, promising that it will all make sense, so long as you stay loyal. Even the biggest of fools could see the workings of a grand conspiracy. But the truth is far, far more than you could imagine. Yeah, I totally saw it coming. Like, kind of saw that they were setting me up. I want the truth. Tell me. I can't tell you, because you wouldn't believe me. All I can do is show you. Over to the podium, please. Well, I'm on it. What is this? It's the black box. From the lead fighter of Gold 7. I already saw Gold 7's black box. No, you didn't. Gold 3, Terra System, black box memory. Status report, Gold 6. Storm signal is going off. 
Cat 100. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Gold 3 just went down. Full breach and multiple decks. Both transport. Gold 4. Open channel. All frequencies and shut all power to comms. Hammer Dread. This is Gold Convoy. Do you read? Repeat. Do you read? Battleship Hammer Dread. This is Gold 7. We are under attack. Repeat. SOS. We have taken the heavy storm damage. That was not storm damage. We got attacked. Damn it. Outgoing comms are down. Anyone? Gold 7, we read you, and scrambling fighters, requesting status on your attacker. Hammer Dread. Gold 7, we read no storms. Repeat, what are you under attack from? Cat 100 storm. I don't know. No, Hammer Dread. Anyone? Please respond. Shit, damn, son. Life support. Got it? Gotta stay awake. Yeah, I've seen all this. You can modify a black box, obviously, like a tape skipping. Unless, of course. Ah, oh, no. What did I just miss? Mayday, Mayday. This is Gold 7. I'm still... Gold 7. Comms are down. Comms are... What the fuck? Some fucking tentacle monster shit here, bro. What have you done, Vera? How are you supposed to resist passage to Terra using the free storm? What did the storm cause? It's a civilian freighter convoy, you imbecile. You fired at the wrong ships. What the fuck? Vera. God, that means. Dude, can I like look around? I did everything we agreed on. You were meant to give me the orders to Hammer Dread and take make sure the system was sealed. Moldbyer. Moldbydar. Herrera. You wanted me to play Elec. You think Valdwin naval ship is just going to up and listen to an Imjoji consortium mem? Er, I'm assuming this is what. Enough, Aurelian. Are those ships? Rust Lord. Where is Lorne? He slipped past us. Genius over here fired on the convoy, thinking it was him. And he's out there now. So Lauren was under attack by these guys. Who are the consortium? Not just him. The entire containment sector has been broken. This means Zakur, Yad, 3, 4, D, all of them. He's got an army, Aurelian. He's defazed the gate, and he's not supposed to be possible. People are still traveling through Terra. They're still going to notice that, even if he's unlocked it. If 
he's unlocked it. It's a Rust Lord gate. Our technology still frightens people, with good reason. If they manage to t detect the gate, the only thing they'll do is stay away from it, and that's provided they'll even find it. Terra's mobile black holes tend to obscure things. Okay, so these are Rust Lord things? You're getting off topic. Lauren has escaped. We have potential witnesses and wreckage convoy without a storm in sight. Lauren's going to do what I think he's going to do. People are starting to ask questions. And they will listen to the consortium, as they always do. Aurelian. So the consortium and the convoy, the consortium is like the overall overreaching authority. Who knows it? I guess. Speaker Freight, apparently. So they're going to conspire right now in front of me. And we might have a stroke of serendipity as if it were. They're just going to blame it on me is essentially what they're doing right now. Is that what this is? Not this again. So. These are the leaders. Have the drones finish off the convoy. I'll deal with the aftermath. Aurelian. And Lorne? He'll be seeking allies. Old friends with long memories. Make sure he doesn't find any. Start with Escana. Those two old fools in the archives, if you can. And Syrian. A lot of names. The Devenim Demivari Prince? That'll just mean more questions. And again, they'll listen to us. We are the consortium. The union looks to us for truth. Whatever game Lauren is playing, we'll be playing a billion years longer. We've been playing it for a billion years longer. Now clean this up. We've got work ahead of us. So, Rust Lord. So these are Rust Lord. What the fuck? And now you know. The Union, your civilization, all of it serves a conspiracy. At the top of which sits the Rust Lords. Yeah. But how? People would notice monsters the size of skyscrapers running around giving orders. Ah, but they're not always monsters the size of skyscrapers. The primordial star stuff they're made of is infinitely malleable. They're shapeshifters. They just never had much reason to shift shapes, not at first. But now, they can assume any form they wish. Government officials are their favorites, of course. They mention allies and old friends. All contemporaries and friends of Lorne. All dead for the crime of old sympathy. Huh. I just... How is any of this possible? Our Rustral is still alive. Take a seat, what do they Stevenson. want? It's time you learn just why you're fighting. All right. Master of Wormholes, Pirate King. Ships owned, 5,453. That's quite the amount of ships there, guy. Pirate King. Huh. And obviously he's some sort of giant supercomputer. Some of these like create like the Macrovari and shit are like are like computers. Like I don't know I don't know what's going on here. In terms of the races in this game. Like the races some of the races in this game are like fucking computers. Okay, so as you know, the Rust Lords were the first species, the first form of life to ever exist in the universe. They were more than just unmatched. They were completely and utterly alone. No storms, no war. Just them and their mighty civilization, growing, expanding for billions of years. 
They unlock the secret of immortality, hyperspace, everything. At the peak of their civilization, they couldn't go forward. Ascension to some higher form of being. The next step. Any step. They couldn't figure it out. They couldn't do it. Their society stagnated. And the Rust Lords, realizing their end, decided to go out with a bang. Could you even imagine it? A war that spanned the universe, that spit the sky, that split the sky, a suicide on the scale of existence itself. When the cosmic dust cleared, all but three remained, and the three of them, standing amidst the universe, spanning corpses of their entire empire, stopped fighting. You see. In the millions of years that it had taken for them to annihilate everything, something else popped up. Other forms of life. Civilizations with fresh ideas, fresh experiences. Beings untainted by ascendance, unascendance. And so, they inserted themselves into those civilizations. At first, openly, then covertly, and then finally they were simply create whole cultures themselves. Which, of course, leads to the Union. It was not a coincidence that the initial Injari and the Baldwin Scouts found one another. The Rust Lords have been your consortium since the beginning. They have guided your civilization, nurtured its technological and social progress, and the whole while built up, up a cabal of supporters and conspirators to keep themselves running. Lorne was one of those conspirators. He disagreed with the Rust Lords at many points, and they began to rightfully fear that he might rebel. Too smart and too important to simply kill, they instead trapped him in hyperspace, in a sort of hellish stasis, in the hopes that of torturing him into compliance over the centuries. They didn't expect him to meet his friends, or to learn that he, uh, the actual truth. What truth? The Union's right, you know. They've never encountered ships like Lorne's desperate men before. And with good reason. Lorne wasn't the first dissenter thrown into hyperspace. Just like the Union's not the first society the Rust Lords created. But it is the only one still around. After all, what do Rust Lords do when they're tired of civilization? They blow it up. A thousand dead empires, and sooner or later, the Union will be next. Why do they destroy civilization? Lauren thinks it's boredom. The Rustlands, the Rust Lords are hedonists. They're extreme forms of leading them to seek extreme experiences. Perhaps they simply think it's the worlds that they build up simply can no longer give them anything. Perhaps it's something we'll never know. But they do, and inevitably, they will. The Union's not unique in that aspect. How many people know of their existence? Enough. They casually ordered your death and replaced a $50 million bounty on your head, and nobody batted an eye. They murdered galactic leaders and even sons easily. The number of those in their conspiracy is not as expensive as you might think, but it controls the Union without question. But only the Rust Lords themselves have the power to wipe out the Union. Destroy them, and you take out our immediate threat. The conspiracy? Well, that's another problem another day. And my problem is the first place. And not my problem in the first place. How did the Rust Lords survive all this time? The race gained an immortality before the stars of Croft even formed. More than immortality, they have conventionally indestructible. Their great war would not have been so extreme otherwise. It took weapons that scatter into reality to even put a dent into them. Then how are we supposed to beat them? We? This is not my war. I'm a third party member, an island of criminal neutrality. I would like to see the galaxy persist, if only for the sake of my own ego. But whatever plan exists, it's Lorne's. And all I can do is help you two reunite. You said that they're shapeshifters. How extensively can they shapeshift? They could take the form of an Anunji. 
Injuni. You could cut that Injuni up and would be on the wouldn't know that and you wouldn't know the difference. They have never they have been your consortium members since the union began, and nobody has ever known in a thousand years, not unless they wanted them to know. How do you know? Once upon a time, it was my job to know. I was always an astronomer, but not one doing for the sake of his own infamy. How did Lorne escape hyperspace? I don't know, and the events that took place there have taken its toll on him, and he will not speak to me of them to me. I was always less of an ally to Lorne, and more of an information broker with prior history. When I knew him centuries ago, he was a jovial, committed man. Now, he's cold and angry. You want answers? You'll have to ask him yourself. What's my role in all of this? At first, I would have to say a coincidence, but the Union elevated you to an elite stars chasing position far too fast. And the Consortium, the Rust Lords, asked for you by name. Your convoy's construction was destruction was perhaps an accident, but they have their eyes on you. Their leader, Aurelian, you saw him in your memory. He seems particularly interested. I need to reach Lorne, and you said you could help. I did. Unfortunately, there's a Union fleet out for your blood, and it's inconventionally sitting between you and him. Worse, I don't know where Lorne is at this point. He refused to tell me. The only things he said was that if you reached Bald in space, he could get in contact with you. Why Bald in space? Because the Union's looking for you here, in the Makravari systems, and Let, Let and his men will report to you. Let and his men reported you to them once they recognized your ship in exchange for certain concessions. Thank you for that, by the way. I can st I can't stand rivals. Let I think we destroyed Let. Listen to We him. need to find a way to smuggle you out of Macrovary space without the Union catching on, but they'll be looking for you everywhere. There's a ballistic smuggling line, so I believe to jump hold to an that system carrying fairly soon. In a few hours, yes, but Bastic, very dangerous and heavily watched. They'll be watched for speaker sin, not for smugglers. Ah, I believe we have our solution. What? Speaker sin, I'm giving you one of my fighters and one of my convoys to take through Bastic to the other side, to Balden Space. Carrion, accompany him. Understood. I get it. Act like one of your smugglers and they'll just think it's some typical pirate activity. They even act like they won't send a fleet. Mm. I run ships along that route all the time. You don't know the way, so it's dangerous, but so is any other option. This is my service to you. I owe you a meeting with Lorne, but the best I can do is get you to Bolden Space and give you a ship that can reach it. From here on out, we're even. Talk to Carrion in the meantime. I feared you might take some more convincing. I prepared these stations for you, excerpts and information stolen from the Consortium themselves. You're free to read them, they might contextualize your position. Well, shit. That was a fucking lot. That was a lot. Okay. Okay. We're gonna level up. I think we just leveled up to like level 24. So yeah, we got a quite a bit. Okay. Um. Missile turn rate. All standard Union missiles are designed to be able to infuse with additional energy from your ship, giving them increased output from their lateral thrusters. This allows missiles to turn much faster and track targets significantly better. Hard point damage. 
Spending time tinkering with their ship targeting systems can now allow them to pinpoint and predict catastrophic breakpoints in almost any equipment of enemy ships. In essence, this will increase the amount of damage individual projectiles do to hard points, allowing you to disable enemy equipment faster. Dodge cost, thruster drain rate, mission payout, AI cost, which is probably energy, right? Reduce the energy drain of all these AI systems while they're active. Max hull. Energy recharge rate. Heavy charge rate. Yeah, there's like a lot of good stuff here. I haven't found my missiles not hitting. Like, anytime I fire them, they seem to track fairly well. I wonder how much the mission payouts go up. It's actually a hard choice here. I don't know. Max hull. Hard point damage. Mission payout. AI cost. Energy recharge rate. Max cargo. Oops. Well, I just went with max cargo by accident, kind of. By accident on purpose, kind of. What does one do here? So it's just one. Literally just one. That is fucking brutal. That's brutal. Um, shit. So we're just going to go five. That's brutal. I thought it was going to be a lot more than just one. One per one. That sucks. Um, shield downtime. Get down to 0. 0.5. We're going to go shield recharge up to 15. 60%. And then max ammo, I guess, maybe. 17. Yep. Damn, dog. Okay. We got gifted some weapons, but we probably can't even mount these. So class 8. Class 8. Yeah. wonder... If I go to the ship dealer, what are they selling? Two million tier three ships. Damn, dog. Yeah, tier one sorrow. Light fighter. Looks kind of fucking interesting. So a Fury, so it's the same type of ship. Nova, light ship. Hulker, heavy. Eclipse, tier three heavy, so it's the same design as the one I have right now. Kind of disappointing. Tier one medium fighter. Medium fighter. Race Vulture Tier 2 Freighter Tier 3 Freighter Cargo 240 2 million 
Light Fighter. Tier 3. Two class 8s, two class 9s, two class 10s. I... 2 million. 2.6 mil. God damn, dude. Damn. I don't like the look of this ship, to be perfectly honest. I really don't. I kind of wish there was a better heavy fighter that looked different. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Like, there's the tier 3 light fighter. And tier 3... Is there a tier 3 medium? Which is the fury. I'm not a huge fan of this ship either. Okay, so that's something we have to think about. 2.6 mil. I don't know if we're supposed to, like, continuously, like, keep going forward. I feel like, like, we, we're, like, constantly behind with, like, ship upgrades or, like, ship weapons and, like, I feel like they kind of keep driving the story forward, even though I don't, I can't afford all the good shit right now. I don't know if we're supposed to, like, take time and fucking upgrade ourselves. They kind of just seem to be force-feeding us fucking story shit, so I kind of just keep going along. Damn, dude. 2.6 mil. Okay, we're gonna go cargo just to sell what we have here. I think we have, like, a couple wa water here. Um, and I think we just, we just, uh, undock here. Is that the, is that the deal? Level 24. Shit. No, I probably have to talk to Carrion. Keep falling through the floor right there. Okay, so... So Lorne is a bald in or something. The Rust Lords are those fucking weird shapeshifter ship things. They blew up the convoy in the beginning of our game by accident looking for Lorne. Now we're just going to go talk to Lorne and see what the fucking deal is. They seem to know me, though. Like, everyone always keeps saying, Speaker son, Speaker son. And I'm just like, well, what the fuck? Obviously, it's either something to do with my ancestor or something. Like, I don't know. Okay, yeah, make preparations. Even if the Union doesn't catch on, the ba ballistic route is dangerous. Very dangerous. Ready as I'll ever be. I've had the Master Ship added to your garage. It's called the Stonework. Get in it. Outfit it if you need, how you need. And then meet me at the Bastic Jump Hole. I'll give you the coordinates. No jokes? We're sneaking past the Union Fleet. And worse here. There's no time for jokes. Okay, so let's go to the ship dealer. Stonework light fighter. They're always light fighters. It's just the same type of ship I got. 2.6 mil. So this is a tier 3 ship. Light fighter. I tend to go with the heavy fighters, but whatever. It's still uh, already a better upgrade than the one I had, so. The only thing is is um equipment yeah so i have wish the equipment thing was a little better in this game um okay so i was just on the tier 2 aurora swap i have to store items in Do 
Do I have the ability to store items in like some sort of storage? I feel like that's a thing. Item storage or something. Am I wrong? Shit. How am I supposed to transfer? Is that in Cargo Trader? Storage and banking. If I swap these over. F. F. But at least I have two class eights. Well, the tier three light fighter is already better than the tier one or tier two heavy fighter. I might just transfer this shit as well. For now, so I don't have to spend any money. So what is that? Yeah, okay. Um, and then we will swap back. If this even is gonna work um go to the ship dealer i think i've already tried this before and it didn't work swap the ship then go back to the cargo trader go to our thing transfer and equip transfer and equip if you're able to do this no problem And we didn't have to spend any money. Now we're going to have to go buy a shield for sure. So equipment dealer. We're going to buy a shield. Class 10 shield almost cost 2 fucking million. I can't even afford the lowest class shield. What a joke, dude. What a joke. Holy shit. Like I said, I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to move along with these story missions so quickly. Damn, man. I can't even afford the cheapest shield. Shit. Well, we're gonna have to try and see if this is gonna work. I don't I don't think this is actually gonna work with uh transferring the shield from this ship. Well, we'll give it a shot. Transfer item. Um Yeah, we'll try everything here, I guess. This sucks. Transfer. Yeah, we have a class 5 shield. I don't even know if it's going to work, but... We're just going to try. Swap back to the other ship. Don't work. Swap. a lot of shit you have to go through to just fucking transfer items so yeah i i can't oh no if i uh equip it now yeah no can't equip this transfer and equip okay transfer and equip 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 okay so that's that worked out Okay, um, so that worked out. I didn't have to spend any money. I just took everything from my other ship. Um,
Can't afford any AI. I don't really use the mines all that often. It's more of a PvP thing. Engine tuning kit. Okay, so we are just gonna go and restock everything. Oh, what the hell? We're gonna restock. Um, I guess we can check out the weapons. I can't afford anything. Class 9, class 10, class 8. Class 10 weapons cost 750k. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Can't afford anything. Guess we didn't deck out our ship, but it doesn't really matter. Don't necessarily think I'm going to keep this one. I'm probably going to sell it and buy a heavy ship because they cost the same amount of money. I wonder if I can sell it for the same amount, 200 and or 2.6 mil. To the jump pole. After you, Speakerson. Unknown jump pole. Yeah, what the fuck? What's going on? Why can't I, uh... What's going on? I think I have to reload. Something's gone wrong here. Something's not working. I can't control my ship right now. Oh! Now I can. Weird. That was a weird glitch. Head through the basic... Oh. Plastic jump pole. Pissed mill more foundry, master of wormholes. So we hit a lot of frickin' lore here. Holy shit. So the master still, I guess he's a big supercomputer. This is my assumption there, I guess. Um, so the Rust Lords that created basically everything in the universe, especially all like the ancient gates and shit there, are controlling everything. They create the civilizations and then destroy them. And now we are kind of in a spot where we're going to try and destroy the Rust Lords to prevent them from destroying the Union, even though Union hates us. But the reason the Union hates us is because of the Rust Lord, so it's kind of like one of those... One of those fucking Spider-Man point here, point there, point there. And then now, uh... It makes sense how we're gonna clear our name then. Because then we're gonna save the universe by killing the Rust Lords. And then that'll, uh even out our rep for sure. And because we've worked with the pirates, the pirates are gonna have a neutral rep with us until we decide to uh, decide on our mortality. So that's how that's gonna go, I'm sure. Though, destroying one of those damn fucking Rust Lord ships, I don't know how the hell we're gonna do those. Those are like the size of freaking planets, like. Granted, we have been, like, destroying battleships and shit like that with just a fighter, so. Things are possible in this game, for sure. Independent space, the best exists. Don't stray too far. These mines are old, but they're still very much active. So those are mines. Damn. Yeah, where am I going? Certainly a lot of mines. 
I told you. No joke. Let me do the talking. The talking? People think Falstick is all about explosive particles and mind flips. It's not. There's a way through it, though the old Rust Lord's mind through the old Rust Lord's mind fields. But it's guarded by something. What? What is that? Who the fuck? Okay, speak. The fairy master. Fairy Master, we seek passage through the nebula. My companion has been promised sanctuary by someone on the other side. Payment must be rendered. We'll pay the price. We will pay at the center. Agreed. Oh, fuck. Follow. Keep up after the fairy master. He leaves the field, will start closing on on you. Arian, what is this thing? Nobody knows. Someone say it has a benevolent god white. Some say it is the ghost of a cruise liner that got it lost around here. But every smuggler knows to follow its rules. Tell you the truth. Give it a payment, and you don't even try to fight it. Those that do, well, I'm sure you can figure out where it gets its collection. What is this payment he wants? It's never money. It's usually something esoteric. Memories, fears... Not everyone lives through that. Smugglers who run Bastic tends to be changed. We have reached the center. The well awaits. Payment must be rendered. Okay, dude. I can give you. Probably want something from me. No. Not you. Yeah. I see the shape of your soul. Your payment will be the tracing, a tracing of not. A tracing of my soul? The well will strip you down, lay you bare, two dimensional, and tar. Darian, is this safe? No. But if you're careful, you should survive. Just do as he says, Cardoz. What am I even doing here? What he said to you was just do. Fly into the well.
And what's down there? We'll see. Okay, so. Ferried along by the fairy master himself. Into the well. He wants a piece of our soul? This is pretty fucking crazy. We're just gonna go and fly in. To this weird person? Wait, wait me? Bardos? We're wondering if this is one of those kind of things. If it's not the first weird dream I've had. True. But it's the first one you've been awake for. So what is this? What are those? Who knows? Is this my soul? A construct of my mind? Or some sub-realm in underspace? I'm you. I know as much as you do. But if I had to guess, it's all three. Just be careful. You heard Kedran. People come out of the pit changed. Or not at all. So that's me, I guess. Clone of me. Starship broken. Bunch of galaxies and shit. Is that a statue of me? Who's this? Who's this? Is that me again? Or Bell? Gardas. What are you doing? Exercise. Apparently it's good for my soul. I met here. The union is after you. You're keeping the company of crime lords and storm rights. I'm going to have to you to trust me, Belle. You know it's me. You know how it is. Yes, I know how it is. Defend you, give you a little black box, buy your drinks, and trust you. You always make demands of me. The story of our lives is me bailing you out of bigger and bigger messes. And each time I ask you, beg you to stay safe. And you always say that I should trust you. And now here you are, in the biggest mess of all. But I can't help you out of this one, not this time. I'll solve this. I'll clear my name. No big deal. What about me, Cardoz? My reputation as a lawyer, my legal practice, they're all in jeopardy. How many union officials are watching me? How many more, how much more has my life been ruined? I'll always be your friend, Cardoz, but are you mine? Do I matter to you? Does anyone else matter to you? I don't fucking know. I barely know who the fuck I am. I don't even know what a zero ten is. 
Gold six. Carbell was right. Evidence is against you. I know that's not true. I saw it. The Rust Lords killed you. The Rust Lords were surprised to see us. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Who charted our routes to the wrong place? Who pushed us to keep the wrong time? It wasn't my fault. Why, you were a traitor? Why were you a traitor? Because I was good at it. I still am. You're a traitor because you're afraid it was all you're good at. You were good at it because it was easy. You were good at it up until we died. It was a calculated risk. You knew Terra was dangerous. But, it, but in the end, your bottom line, being a good traitor, was worth more than the lives of the people who worked for you, who trusted you. It was a calculated risk. Don't feel guilty. Of course you don't. The wrestlers didn't kill you. Well, shit. Well, shit. Is this like my own, like, subconsciousness just trying to, like, deal and cope? Kind of seems like it. Who's this? John Dre. Is that my brother? You never talk much about me, brother. Not anymore. Why? You died. You died, and I killed you. What the fuck? Yes. Is that it, then? Trying to make me feel guilty? Do you still think about this? Do you think this is about you? Your convoy? Your trial? Your brother? Do you blame yourself because you feel responsible? Because you feel in charge of everything? Stop dressing your pre pretension... Stop dressing up pretension as self-pity. My death was an accident. I I don't know, like, was... I don't know how he died. He died... I think I remember he, he died, like, years before the convoy incident. From what I remember at the beginning there. Like, 12... I think it was, like, 12 years before... And I guess I blame myself for something that happened to him. Okay, what's this? Cardoz, what are you doing all this? How dare you? Call me egotistical after everything I did? Do be king? Walk away from the throne because I wasn't enough? Was it? You spent your entire life closing and ignoring everything that was given to you. I spent my entire life having things taken away from me. I didn't get to choose. Why do you have to live up to you? It's your ego. I don't want any of this. I never did. I'm the center of things because of you keep pulling me into it. So I guess I'm talking to is my ancestor. The star chaser at the eye of the storm is not the center. The ship surrounded equally at all sides, but merely exists there. He does not move the storm. The storm does not move him. All he can do is kill it. I reject the polyester throne for the same reason you will never be the head of the house speaker scene again. Because we both know there's bigger storm brewing. And the star chasers were made to fight storm. Welcome back to the world of the living. Okay. Did we fly here? The fairy master seems satisfied. You emerged from the pit in a trance, but somehow you managed to follow me here. Okay. Carry in. About the pit. I know you have questions. Let's wait until we're safe in Baldwin's base. After you. Okay, okay, okay. We are very confused. So our ancestor was a speaker who... I can't really remember. 
used his voice to fucking do something. Alright. We're not far now. All that's left is... Damn it. Hey, who are we fighting? We must have patrols sweeping through the jump holes, looking for people. Get ready. Red face. Alright. We can't let any red escape a face. They'll report our position. We're just gonna kill everyone, eh? Doesn't sound good, does it? Choir, let's sing. Shit. Really wish that was voice acting so I could actually just pay attention to fighting. Oh hell. Oh shit. We have, uh, allies. Firefighter. Just realized that we had allies. Why are my missiles not hitting? hard to like navigate when all the screen is all one color like fighting in the clouds is actually like freaking disorienting all right my dear carrion it's been so long bell vermin vermin you're looking alive. Vemarin. Vemarin? Now, now. I doubt my corpse could serve a viable replacement for those gorgeous rotting carcasses you call a body. Yeah. And you must be Cardo Spigerson. I've heard quite a lot about you. Most of it bad. So you'll be right at home here. I am Bell the Marin, high conductor of the choir. That's conductor like an orchestra conductor, not a train conductor. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Good job. You'd be amazed how many people don't around here. Honestly, Karen, I don't know how people brought it to the master that themes it so readily. How people bought into the master's themes so readily. He's had years to cultivate his image. I suppose time makes criminal masterminds of us all, yes. But come, come. Let's get you somewhere safe before something worse and a bunch of hat whip bounty hunters come knocking, eh? Alright, alright. Let's see. Okay. Unknown station. Yo-ho, yo-ho. Pirate's life for me. Jumping between fucking unknown station and unknown station. Where are we right now? Shit. We jumped fucking way across this. Demandrere. Demandrere.
right as we start it. Cuts itself off. That's hilarious. Kepler base. Heller. Welcome to Capeller. It's not much, but I guarantee that no military patrol will find you out here. Go ahead and dock. All right, all right, all right. Sadly, I need to patrol to make sure it's safe for the rest of our membership. You're... You and Carrie and get yourself settled in, I'm sure. When you're done, come and talk to me in the bar. I'm quite interested in you, Cardoz. Right. Bell is dedicated. But he and I here used to run porn to Voldrick some decades ago. You can trust him, Cardoz. You make sure you reach your triangle, friend. Alright. I guess this is goodbye then? Who knows? Maybe someday this will blow over. If that happens, I wouldn't say no to buying you... You buying me a drink, Speakerson. I need to get my ship restocked. Remember to talk to Bell before doing anything else. All right, Adrian. About what happened to Baltic? I know. You've got some questions. I don't really know what the pit is. Like the ferryman, there's theories, but it's different for everyone. I talked to the speaker, among other things. That part is consistent, at least. True, hard truths, conversations with the dead and gone, or sometimes not. When I went in, I saw the master, but I hadn't met him yet. That time in the pit is many reasons I sought him out and worked for him, actually. Oh, yeah. Tell me, are you alright? Some people, they're never the same. I think I'll be alright. Just more or less confused. I'm old enough to handle it. That's good. Yeah. Good. Twenty-five K? Okay, no more of that. Bell should get you the last leg of your journey. Sweet. Alright. Well shit. That was a lot. So we're going to end it there for now, and uh, until next time on Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace, thanks for watching. If you liked what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot for the channel to grow. Peace.